Hey everyone, welcome to God's Own Racetrack. Probably the greatest racetrack in the world aside from Phillip Island, so just so you know. Uh, this is the Catalonia MotoGP circuit and we're here to ride the brand new 2017 Triumph Street Triple 765 RS. Now the RS, that's the badass one. This is the real one that everyone's talking about. So there's three new Street Triples that are coming out in 2017 and they're all different, but we're gonna focus on this one. The Street Triple has been a roaring success since its 2007 debut. Triumph has sold a whopping 50,000 of these things across the world since then, but while the model has seen progressive updates in that time, they've stopped short of reinventing the Street Triple wheel until now. The RS's new engine is a modified version of the Daytona 675 Supersport, bored and stroked to give a claimed 121 horsepower at 11,750 RPM and 56 pounds feet of torque at 10,800 RPM. The engine houses a new crank, conrods, pistons, balancer shaft, Nicosel aluminum cylinder bores, a new cylinder head and camshafts, as well as a new intake and a new 3 to one exhaust system that allows the triple to sing like never before. There's also a new slip and assist clutch, a factory fitted quick shifter on this RS model and shorter first and second gears to take advantage of that extra torque off the line. The big thing for me is uh, the, the ease and the, the, the rideability of that new engine. It's such a beautiful bike to ride, it's got such linear torque. I mean this thing has more torque at 4000 RPM all the way through the rev range than the old bike had at peak torque. So you've got, you're getting so much more bang for your buck when you crack that throttle open. I mean, this thing will pretty much spin above four grand most of the time. I mean, unless you're really going around a car park, you won't find yourself going any, going, any, going below 4,000. So there's more torque everywhere, there's more grunt. It pulls really surprisingly hard. It has a, it has a real kick in the power when you get to about sort of eight, eight or so thousand RPM, particularly in a track somewhere like Catalonia, which has a lot of those uh, like long sweeping corners, particularly on the back section of the circuit uh, leading onto the front straight here. And you can really feel that. It's almost like a, feels a bit like two stroke in a, in a way, but it comes with one of the best soundtracks you'll ever get in motorcycling. But uh, yeah, uh, anyway, let's move on. As they say in the classics, power is nothing without control and the RS gets the full gamut of chart topping suspension and brakes in the fully adjustable 41mm Showa Big Piston forks and Olin's STX40 monoshock and the same Brembo M50 brakes you'll find on something like a Ducati Panigale. And there's nice little touches in the brakes with the Brembo master cylinder allowing for ratio and span adjustments so you can dial in the exact amount of lever pull and feel as you like. Now, uh, that little bit of uh, extra composure that you get from quality suspension, I mean, you can't beat good springers and this thing does a really fantastic job, particularly when you're going over really rough roads. Like, we, we hit some pretty gnarly stuff earlier on in the day today. I mean, a billiard smooth racetrack like, like Catalonia isn't going to stress the suspension like it does on the road. The ride is supremely comfortable. It's a really, really comfy ride. The riding position is very well thought out. It's not that different, really, to, to the old Street Triple. Uh, every Everything's you know, tweaked and changed somewhat, but it's still the same basic uh, ride position. It's still got a great seat, very, very comfortable seat, and you know, full day today, including track time, and I feel great. One of the things I'm really impressed with uh, with this bike is the electronics. They're really, really, really good on this bike, and most, and the really good thing is the dash on this bike is. It's easily my favorite dash of all the bikes that I've ridden in, in 2017. It's very, very easy to use, very intuitive. It's got really, uh, it, you basically have a joystick here on the left-hand side and it's, it gets you into all your different modes. You get five different modes as well and you can change uh, one of the modes basically as a, like a race, race mode, I guess you'd call it. Uh, it's called rider mode. But that basically means you can get in there and do and program a certain map to how you want. But if you also want to change the modes within the modes, you can do that. You can get in there and you can change ABS in uh, road mode. You can change traction control in track mode. Uh, it's very, very simple, and it's it's kind of a it's almost like a simple solution to a complicated problem that Triumphs come up with. They've done really, really good job on that. The the, the great thing about the street triple range as a whole, and I'm not going to take credit for this one, I'm going to give this one up to Tom from, uh, from Motorcycle.com. He actually said that the bike basically feels like a bike that you've had the whole time. It's so 
easy to ride, user friendly, and familiar. As soon as you get on this thing, you just it, it feels like you've had one for ages. Uh, it's a fantastic bike to ride. The build quality is lovely. The paint job is really, really nice. The engine is superb. It gets a quick shifter as well. Standard, by, standard on this one, and uh, some of the uh, some of the lower, um, the, the less expensive models of this. Don't come with one as standard, but you can put them on there as, as an accessory if you like. About 60 or so accessories as well available for this bike. But yeah, I'm thoroughly wrapped in this bike. I've had a blast on this thing today. And I mean, I've, I've always enjoyed uh, the old uh, 675 engine in super sport guys and uh, naked bike guys as well. I think that's a fab, uh, an absolutely fantastic engine that Triumph came up with now very quite a long time ago, you know, over 10 years ago uh, that they originally came out with that 675 engine. This thing's not a massive departure from it, but it's just improved absolutely everywhere. And look, I bloody love this thing. I mean, I can't, I can't hide my enthusiasm for it. I think it's a fantastic bike. I would recommend it to absolutely anybody as a really, really cool street bike. You can go out to a track day on this thing and you'll blast past a lot of bigger capacity bikes and you'll embarrass a lot of riders on this because the suspension's great. Comes with Pirelli um, Super Corsa SP tires, a standard too, like it's good tires as well. So it's got the whole package. It's a really, really cool bike. I'm stoked. I'm gonna go do some more wheelies and skids on the way back to the hotel tonight. So see you later guys, have a good one.